2020 was a rough year, and it's safe to say that no one had a global pandemic in their schedule for 2020. But as the wound heals with unparalleled advances being made in mechanical, economic, and political sectors, it's about time we looked ahead to a brighter and stronger 2021, and the investment opportunities it has to offer. Welcome once again to the Wealth Lab. Considering the strong potential of an economic recovery in 2021, you as investors might be allured to the opportunity to diversify and develop your portfolio with every stock that lingered and saw the bottom of the well during the pandemic in 2020. However, 2021 doesn't really promise any less uncertainty than the previous year, so you must remain more cautious than ever, especially considering that chaos might just be around the corner. It is interesting that the S&P 500 concluded 2020 with a whopping return of over 18%, which is groundbreaking, considering the chaotic turn of events such as economic shutdowns around the world. Incredibly, stocks have been doing exceptionally well. There were no shortages of double digits or even triple digit returns, considering 2020's uncertain conditions. Delivering double digit returns consistently is a feat that occurs once every decade, the last time we saw numbers like this was in 1995 to around 1990 and from 2012 to 2015. Heading into 2021, we can expect the market to close out somewhere between 10% to 25%. This is based on the fact that as we head into 2021, the economy will reopen in the US and the world will be influenced by the distribution of vaccines and the surge in global economic activity. Even expert analysts from JP Morgan, CNBC, and more believe that the market will close out bullish. So keep watching this video if you want to find the best stocks in 2021 and achieve that financial independence you've always been dreaming about. Now do remember, before we share these stocks, these are purely suggestions based on forecasted macroeconomic trends. One thing we can take as a lesson from the previous year is that anything could happen. So take this video as friendly advice about 2021 and not as recommendations to buy these stocks. We urge you to talk it out with your financial advisor as they are more qualified. With that said, let's head on to the best stocks that we think you should keep. Technology stocks. People have been locked down for almost a year now due to the pandemic and it is highly likely that people have formed new habits during their time inside. Such examples can be seen in the uprise of delivery services and online shopping during the pandemic. That is why we suggest looking at tech giants that provide e-commerce infrastructure and IT companies that advocate these changed behaviors. Today, any retail businesses that have not managed to transition towards online sales are set to fail in the industry, as consumer demand for seamless online shopping experiences only grows stronger. We suggest monitoring companies such as Alibaba Group, Shopify, Dell. Enjoying this video so far? Remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Okay, let's get back to the video. Industrial stocks. Industrial stocks must be on your radar. If e-commerce continues to persist as we expect, shipping related industrials are bound to benefit. In this sector, you must keep an eye out for companies that shift from point A to B and those that produce shipping related products such as dry ice for vaccine shipments and bulk shipping supplies. Considering the vaccine rollout that is expected in the upcoming months, you should stay on the lookout for industries that support safe distribution. Moreover, airline stocks were also hit in the pandemic. However, with the reopening of the economy just around the corner, airline stocks could project high returns. Here are some companies we think you should look at. FedEx, UPS, DHL, energy stocks. You must consider energy stocks heading into 2021. Why? because the world needs power, and green power in particular. The world is evolving in the way its energy is developed, and the pandemic shifts in consumption patterns has only accelerated those changes. Lower carbon and carbon-free production is emerging, so look out for companies that could stand to gain from their contribution to the global electric vehicle mandate. Moreover, we advise you to monitor energy stocks that offer above average dividends to help develop other sectors in your portfolio. That might just be a good investment at current discounts, but keep in mind they may still need some space and time to project returns at more normal levels. Diamondback Energy Oil stocks normally have been horrible investments in recent years. Almost all of them have lost their value and are underperforming in the market. 
Interestingly, Diamondback, the Permian Basin focused oil company, has produced around 300% total return since its IPO in 2013. What that means is, the oil giant has outpaced some of the largest S&P 500 oil companies in that time frame. What makes this an impressive stock is that Diamondback did this when crude prices in the US lost more than half their value, although past success is not reflective of future performance. However, the energy giant has built up a massive resource position by expanding its scale and reducing costs, hence improving its ability to operate at lower oil prices. Many experts believe that Diamondback Energy is a stock you must monitor as it projects an exceptional bullish case. Consumer Discretionary Stocks Consumer discretionary stocks have taken quite the beating in 2020 after global economic shutdowns, and it is expected that the new vaccine will make social gathering safer and more accessible. I mean, we've all seen those videos on TikTok and memes on Instagram about how people believe they'll react once public parks, cinemas, and restaurants are open again. We understand people miss being physical with each other. They miss experiencing things and getting that sweet taste of excitement. 2020 was a hard and long year. People were stuck in their homes for a major part of the pandemic. It's fairly obvious that the world is eager for social gathering and events, which is why you should monitor consumer discretionary stocks. Enjoying this video so far? Remember to hit that subscribe and like button. Okay, let's get back to the video. Entertainment Parks With the lockdown in place, the entertainment business took a huge hit. Venues and theme parks suffered the extremes of lockdown in 2020, with the expectations of an economic reopening in correspondence with the vaccine distribution. It is likely people will return. People are just itching to start enjoying social activities and gatherings again. Here are some stock you should consider buying at low prices for an upside later as the economy reopens. Considering only 5 million people could visit parks in 2020, which is an 83% decrease from the average 27 million, it is likely the number will bounce back to its original number. Six Flags Six Flags is one of the largest regional theme park companies in the world. The Six Flags team just announced their plans to open 26 of its amusement parks and water parks heading into 2021. The entertainment park has been working with epidemiologists to develop a reopening plan that complies with federal, state, and local guidelines for sanitation, hygiene, and social distancing protocols. Considering how popular Six Flags is, you have to monitor this stock. But do your due diligence, talk it out with your financial investor, and invest responsibly. Live Nation Entertainment Live Nation Entertainment is the world's leading live entertainment company, composed of global market leaders such as Ticketmaster, Live Nation Concerts, and more. Live Nation Entertainment is responsible for many shows, concerts, and events. It's fairly safe to say that people miss going to concerts and artists clearly miss performing for their fans. I personally can't even remember the last time I've been to a concert. It's starting to feel like forever. Interestingly, with the expectation of an economic reopening, we can expect the stock to retain its position in the market and project high returns. Enjoying this video so far? Remember to hit that subscribe and like button. Okay, let's get back to the video. Restaurants. If any industry was beaten down in 2020, it was definitely restaurants. The food and restaurant sectors often bounce between closed, open for delivery only, to outdoor dining, to closed again. That meant daily practices like getting that hot coffee was relegated to the drive-thru. Interestingly, stocks for major restaurants and coffee chains took a huge hit, so they can be bought at a discount today in the hope of customers returning after the economy reopens. Honestly speaking, we miss having coffee talks and going out to dinner. It's the ambience, the setting, the environment, and just having people around us that made restaurants so special. It wasn't just about food, it was about going out and socializing. It's obvious that there's a significant group of people that wants the same. Here are some of the stocks in the restaurant sector that you should probably monitor. Restaurant Brands International With over 27,000 restaurants spanning across 100 countries and the United States, Restaurant Brands International is one of the largest quick-service restaurant companies in the world. With ownership of food chains such as Tim Hortons, Burger King, and Popeyes, it's highly expected that the company gets back on track. 
Interestingly, experts and analysis expect an upside of over 20% after the economy reopens. Starbucks. Although the coffee making giant took a beating last year thanks to the pandemic, the company is getting back on its feet and is almost fully recovered. The Starbucks chain hit a speed bump after it had to close numerous branches to respond to the COVID pandemic. However, the strength of the brand, in addition to the population's unwavering need for coffee, has unprecedented potential when the stores reopen. With over 33,000 Starbucks locations in the world, the coffee-making giant expects to open many more. According to experts, Starbucks has been a stock market leader for many years, and it could very well continue to make millions in the years ahead. Healthcare stocks. This is an obvious one. 2020 determined the value of rapid healthcare innovation. Undoubtedly, experts believe that the leaders in this sector are highly undervalued. Forerunners in these sectors are composed of companies that are set to roll out the vaccines. However, other farmer brands are expected to project high returns in 2021. We suggest that you look for companies that will benefit from elective surgeries making a re-entrance at surgery centers around the world. We also suggest looking at medical device suppliers who had their production stalled because of the pandemic. You could look at companies such as Hill Ron, Baxter International Incorporated, Becton Dickinson & Co. Sectors you must avoid in 2021. With that said, here are some sectors you should avoid in 2021. The economic reopening in 2021 means that some sectors may see a slowdown. Analysts expect that there will be a dial back from stocks that have benefited investors for the short term during COVID-19 because they may be perceived as overvalued. Although the dial back doesn't mean that all COVID-19 boom stocks will drop down to their pre-COVID-19 valuations, but you must view your portfolio and assess where you might be under or overweighted. Evaluate your stocks and act accordingly. What should be your strategy for 2021? As you look out for investment opportunities, you must also think about your investment horizon, goals, and risk tolerance when assessing new holdings for your portfolio. Although individual stocks and sectors are projecting positive trends, low-cost index funds can also provide you exposure to most sectors and stocks that could make it big in 2021. Be it as it may, 2020 has been a great year for stocks, and 2021 is on course to be an even greater year considering the economic reopening of the world. No matter what you choose, no matter what you choose, you must tread carefully and perform your due diligence before opting for any stock. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.